nerds and nerdettes to another pickups edition which you know I did the other one not too long ago but yep I got another one right now why because it's a big old stack of PS3 games see unfortunately for me my 360 broke down so my current gen console that I've been playing the most is the PlayStation 3 so I've been playing a bunch of games on it and naturally I was looking at my uh, PS3 library and I was like hmm you know, a lot of games are missing from it, mostly because I had borrowed or rented many of the games, and I was like, why don't I just go and fucking finally buy the games so I can finally have them? Plus a couple of new ones, so hell, why not? That's exactly what I did. So, let's get this show on the road. Now, the first one came out at pretty much when the system launched, and that's Unreal Tournament 3. Now, the thing is, Unreal Tournament 3... I am a big fan of the Unreal Tournament games and Unreal Championship. As a matter of fact, these were some of my favorite games to play on PC uh, back in the day. Just loved them to death. I also liked Unreal Championship 2 and the first championship on Xbox. Just really good games. Uh, they're just all about fast-paced, over-the-top shooting. I just loved them a whole lot. That and with the announcer who's like, HEADSHOT KILLING SPREE! Like, th that kind of shit I always thought was really cool. But for extremely just... If you want a first-person shooter that's just balls to the wall, really, really intense, um, the Unreal games are pretty much where it's at. Love them quite a bit, and this was a game that I've been meaning to get for a long time. I played it countless times, just never got it, and it was five bucks. Five dollars. I can't fucking pass that up, so yeah, had to get the game. Now, this one I did play quite a few times, and I'm a big, big fan of this series. From Katamari Damacy to We Love Katamari, um, so... Yeah, I had to get Katamari forever. Uh, currently, I'm playing this. As a matter of fact, I was playing it literally just about 10 minutes ago before I started shooting all these. Uh, Katamari Forever continues the same exact approach that the past games did. You have a Katamari ball, you roll up a bunch of random shit. It's very over the top with like humor. The graphics are... It's one of those games you have to play to really get an understanding of it. But with such a basic premise, it never gets old, dull, boring. And every little spin that they put on it just makes it really fun. And, like, you know, you can only pick up these sort of items or, you know, it starts shooting out water everywhere. So you have to grow, like, plants in a garden everywhere. Or you're in the middle of a race. And while you're racing, you have to go and collect things and get bigger and start knocking the living shit out of all of your opponents and stuff. Stuff like that I appreciate a whole bunch. Plus there's a co-op mode and versus mode and stuff like that. It makes this game infinitely even more fun. So, yeah, Katamari for fucking ever! There's no for fucking ever, but you get the point. Now, uh, back during like my first couple videos, some people were like, Stranglehold's a garbage ass game. I disagree. I like uh, Stranglehold quite a bit. Now, I have Stranglehold for Xbox 360. This right here is the Collector's Edition. Now, keep in mind that I'm a big fan of old school kung fu flicks and things like that, but I'm also a big fan of Chow Yun Fat and John Woo. Guess what? That both comes together on here. If you've ever heard of the movie Hard Boiled, which if you haven't, please go check it out. But the Collector's Edition, if you get it, right there you'll see it comes with a copy of Hard Boiled. I don't own the movie. I did want to for a long time. As a matter of fact, I think they uh, reprinted on Dragon Dynasty DVDs, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure. But anyway, um... It, it shows up on here, and I was just like, dude, are you fucking serious? And this was a, another game. It was $5. So, granted, I have it on 360, but, I mean, I wanted hard-boiled. So, it was like getting the movie and the game together. So, fuck it, why not? But, yeah, I really do like this game. If you see it for cheap, give it a shot. I mean, it's just mindless run around, shoot stuff constantly. It's like your ass is like a slip and slide, because you, you literally, it's like, my butt cheeks are grease lightning. I can just slide across anything. It's fucking ridiculous, but it's one of those games, it's like ridiculous fun. You know, don't take it too seriously, but if you are a fan of Hard Boiled, you will enjoy the story, because this is like a continuation of it. So, check it out. Um, I mean, I like it. So, yeah, I at least recommend it. <laughs> Now, this game, I have told everybody that I could possibly. I was working on a review a while ago, but then I got sidetracked with a bunch of other random shit. But uh, take it from me, get this game. It's it's one of the best of 2011 and was sorely uh, looked over, which is unfortunate. That is Shadows of the Damned. I've beaten this game twice. I fucking love this game. One, okay, it's Suda51. 
made this game, along with the uh, dude who made Resident Evil, it's just like, come on. Come on, uh, okay, Suda51, dude who made Resident Evil, is well coming together, and guy that does Silent Hill music, like, are you fucking kidding me? It's like a dream team? But, it, it does, it's... So you can definitely recognize the story elements and like the character and the art style and everything for being like very over top similar to Suda 51's all of his past games. He's never done me wrong as far as I'm concerned on the world of gaming. I've loved everything he's picked up. Um, very uh, dark gothic style setting and everything. The control, I shit you not, is just like Resident Evil 4 and 5. So if you thought those controlled really well, you'll be able to pick this up and have a blast, no pun intended. But the game's really fucking funny. I consider this one of the funny games I've played next to, like, Tokyo uh, Beaton and stuff like that. Just really awesome. Please play this game. It's so good. I'm telling you. Alpha Mega Sin is telling you. Play this fucking game. It's It deserves more recognition and more credit than it has gotten. So, yeah. It's awesome. Now, this is a series I've I loved quite a bit ever since I played uh, this one right here. Yakuza 3. Now, I played and beat this a while ago when it first came out, and I loved it to death. I was meaning to get around to um, buying this in the fourth game, because I, I played them both, I beat them both, but I didn't own them, so naturally, I had to get them, and I found them for a very good price, brand new, so I was like, fuck it, why not? But Yakuza 3, if you are a fan of beat-em-ups, here, I'll just show off Yakuza 4, because it's right here. If you are a fan of beat-em-ups, please check these out. There's Yakuza 1 and 2 that are on PlayStation 2, 3 and 4 are on PS3, and they have Dead Souls, which is coming out, and it takes all the characters from the Yakuza, Yakuza universe, and you run around killing zombies. Yakuza characters killing zombies. Killing zombies. Like, dude, <laughs> you you have to be fucking kidding me. That's so fucking awesome. awesome. It's like Kazuma is running around just fucking knocking off zombie heads. Like, that's fucking brutal. I love that. But, yeah, it's one... I'll tell you this. If you're big into, like, video game stories where, like, you care about the characters and the world and all the other stuff, the Yakuza games have some of the best stories I've ever seen outside of, like, RPGs. Really, really, really good stuff. The voice acting's really good. As a matter of fact, 3 and 4 have the original Japanese voice dialogue. I know that the first game has English in it. I don't know about the second one. That's the only one I have not played whatsoever. I've been trying to find the game. But um, 3 and 4 get them some of the best beat em ups And there's so many little extras and so much, like, random stuff that you can do outside of it. So it's not a linear game whatsoever. You're going to run around and do all sorts of little shit and just beat the fuck out of random people and come up to you and you're like, hey, punk. And it's like, really? A bunch of scrub-ass motherfuckers just rolled up to Cosmo and are like, let's fight. Yeah, that's right. And then you just knock the living shit through them. Not even out of them, through them. Like, they have a big hole in their chest because shit just went pow right through them. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much uh, Cosmo. He's such a badass. He is. He's fucking awesome. But anyway... The Yakuza games, check them out. Very, very badass stuff. Now this game I have mixed feelings on, admittedly. This is the truth. Because the premise had me interested, but at the same point, the execution of it is where I get iffy. <laughs> and that game is Knight's Contract. Okay, now, Knight's Contract... <laughs> oh, how, how do I describe this the best way without making everybody go, that is absolute dog shit, I'll never play it. Okay, I'll just be, I'll be blunt. It's an escort mission. The entire game is an escort mission. But that was the thing that intrigued me was that it was an escort mission, but the main character is invincible. He cannot die. He'll never die. But the chick that you're with, okay, she's a witch, and she helps you cast spells in the middle of battle. So you'll be doing a combo, and you use one of the shoulder buttons, and she'll go and do, like, a spell that you can tell her to do, obviously. And it helps go with the combo. But here's the thing. Her life bar is next to jack shit. It's just, like, it's, like, pencil thin, like, Slim Jim thin. It's just, it's fucking pathetic. Literally, an enemy walks up, and it's just like, Hey there, little witch! bitch. <laughs> and she's just like, what do I do? I could run away, but I think I'll just stand here. <laughs> and then they're just like, pow, pow, pow. And then by the time that you get over there, dead. <laughs> and it's like, fuck, back to your checkpoint. 
But if you can get past that, it's really not a bad game. The gameplay is uh, pretty much hack and slash oriented, kind of like Duffel May Cry, just not nearly as fast. Um, it's not bad, but it's not great. It's worth at least checking out because it's, uh, it's a different premise, at the very least. But it is an escort mission. We all know how we feel about escort missions. <sighs> escort missions. I made an escort mission rant, actually. There, that'll be in the info section. You'll get to see how I feel about it. Anyhow, and all of you knew I was going to be picking this up because I'd be fucking crazy if I didn't. Pow! Right there, bitches! And it is just as fucking epic as I thought it would be. Yes, Sweet Tooth is back. Yes, Mr. Grimm is back, and Dollface, and Preacher. Goodness gracious, it's car combat on PS fucking 3. I am so happy, folks. I am boys and girls. I am so happy. As Sweet Tooth would say. Except for he sounds way more evil. I just sound like me. But anyhow, it is a really, really great game. I haven't gone to indulge myself in it as much as I would like to just because I have a clusterfuck of games like, sitting beside me and on my lap and everything. But besides the point... There is something a little bit extra that I want to show off that I got with this, which I have sitting beside me. Now, I was out, and when I got it, I got this. It's the Sweet Tooth Ice Cream Truck. The only thing that's missing is the clown head that's on top. I was very disappointed in that. But this thing was free. How the fuck can I complain when it's free? But, yeah. Um, it's a little promo item that they had in stores. And I was out in the store, and I had seen it says twist metal roll big on the top and on the bottom but i'd seen this i'm sure many of you have seen this in the stores and everything if you were out and about but um i'd seen it and i was just like hey i have a question can i have that and the dude just looked at me and was like uh sure i was like yes so yeah i got the sweet tooth ice cream truck it, it, seriously that just makes me happy <laughs> Dead. You are now a skid mark on the street. <laughs> I also like that says stop for children on the front, but uh, yeah. If you were wondering, is, is the game good? Is it as good as Twist Metal Black? Is it as good as Twist Metal 2? Yes. Yes, it is. The only gripe that I really have with it is I wish all the characters were in the game. But we got the four. But all their cars are in the game, so you can go and pick between all the different cars and everything. It is extremely kick-ass. It's just, I wish that there was more of them. There is a rumor that there's going to be DLC for some of the other characters, so I am kind of wondering about that. Mm. Like Twister, I think Pit Viper was another one that uh, they had rumored for uh, future DLC, because they were creating them, then they just stopped and didn't include them. So, uh, yeah, they might have them in the future. That'd be kind of neat. But overall, really enjoyable experience. I'm going through all the story meds right now. Um, so far, I've only finished Sweet Tooth, so I'm going through Mr. Grimm's right now. But yeah. Love the fucking game. Check it out. You will like it if you like Twisted Metal. Even if you don't like Twisted Metal or if you've never... Tr Here. If you've never tried a Twisted Metal, this is a good jumping on point. Because if you get it now, it comes with Twist Metal Black. So you're getting two games for the price of one. That That's kind of hard to argue with. So yeah, plus the multiplayer is bitchin' awesome fun stuff. So yeah, check it out. It's Twisted Metal. And it has bitchin' soundtrack and Rob Zombie shows up in it, which is pretty awesome. And I just did an unboxing for this game right here, Disgaea 4. And Disgaea 4, um, I pretty much already said all the stuff that I had to about Disgaea 4, so I'll include the link to that down below, because uh, the unboxing is for the premium edition, which comes with a figure of Fuka. Fucka, Fuka, Fucka. Fucka, Fuka, Fuka, Fucka. That's kind of hard to say. Hmm. Anyhow, so yeah, it's a big bevy of games. Goodness gracious. Look at this. That right there is a lot to me. <laughs> Keep in mind that, like, whenever I'm out and about, I don't get as many new games as I would like to. Um, I end up renting and borrowing as much as I can because I'm a cheap bastard. For the most part. Um, but, yeah, I was just mean to go and build up the library for PS3 because I didn't have that many. Um, but... This definitely helps, and concern the fact that, let's see, uh, I beat that game already, 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 and I beat that game already. So, I was just like, I beat all these games, I don't even own any of them. Fuck it. And finding them all for a good price uh, definitely helps. So, yeah, if you are a fan of PS3, you know, uh, Katamari Forever, that's exclusive. Uh, Yakuza 3 and 4, Twisted Metal, uh, Disgaea 4, 
all those are exclusive to the system, so they are all most definitely recommended by yours truly. And if you can go out and find this, this thing is really cool. I just, I really do wish I had the little clown head on top, but regardless, I'm probably going to put it up on my Neo Geo cabinet, because that's the only safe place I can see uh, that I have for it. Because I don't want this thing getting bent, messed up, or anything like that. So, yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it's apparently a real bumpy road. Fucking potholes, what the shit? I'm gonna stab the fucking workers right here. Oh. If you live in Pittsburgh, you understand potholes are everywhere. Fucking everywhere, my god. Anyhow, so that was my pickups episode. Uh, I think it's episode 9 now, is it? Goodness, I forgot. It, it, I literally did forget how many episodes in I am. Hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll find out later. <laughs> That's pretty bad. It's like, what episode is that? I don't fucking know. I really don't know. What do what you want from me? Throwing up gang signs now. It's like, oh, bitch, I don't know what you want from me. Now I'm just getting ridiculous. Anyhow, big sack of fucking PS3 games and a Sweet Tooth ice cream truck. All smiles. Anyhow, so I hope that you enjoyed this episode of video game pickups and all that other good shit because that's the entire point of this. That's random things I've been picking up. So, oh, this is Alpha Omega Sin. As always, nerds, nerdettes, and gamers, game the fuck on. You can tell I'm all geeked out about Twist Metal because it's just like I got a promotional item and I have a sweet tooth. Figure. Look, look at him. He's all like, fuck you, stab, stab, you, kill you. Look, it looks like I'm getting stabbed. <laughs> Why, sweet tooth? I think you're so awesome. Shut up and bleed, you motherfucker. <laughs> ah, dead. Anyway, yes, I'm full grown man playing with fucking action figures. I don't give a shit. <sighs> you can't really see because the light is really fucking bad. Now you can. There I am. Anyhow, if you've ever seen this figure, it is really worth picking up. I was going to review it, but I didn't. I've had this for like ever. Anyhow, but it's awesome. Look at it. Sweet. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I shouldn't. Have... <laughs> this is not the way that you drive on a car. It's <laughs> like, oh shit. <laughs> and he just falls off. Anyhow, I'm just. I'm fucking about. It doesn't really matter. It's the end of the fucking video. Just like the credit section. Except for the only thing that says is rate, comment, subscribe, and the, the link to uh, Gig's profile. Yep. Great. As in, give it a thumbs up. Unless you hate my guts and give it a thumbs down. Then why are you watching if you hate my guts? That's weird. Uh, comment. A little comment box, yeah. And subscribe, unless you're already subscribed, then you're just looking at it. Great, <laughs> subscribe to you, you silly fucking bastard. <laughs> you silly bastard. You silly bastard. Your voice is very deep, apparently, and it comes out of my own voice box. <laughs> I'm fucking ridiculous. You know what? I think that's what happens when you don't get enough sleep. Yay, insomnia!